Hi, I'm Rich from Loft, and I'm going to show you how DevSpace can improve your cycle times when you develop applications that run on Kubernetes. We'll be using this guide that's at devspace.sh. Click on Docs, and then Getting Started. First, we install the DevSpace CLI. I'm on a Mac, so I'll use that version. Next, we clone the repo for the language that we want to use. I'll use Go. Then we run devspace init. This will create the devspace YAML file. We're going to go ahead and pick the defaults for these things. I'm already logged into Docker Hub. And we're going to deploy it with the component chart. And this is the DevSpace YAML file. The component chart is a Helm chart that DevSpace creates on the fly based on these values, but you can also use your own Helm chart. You need to have a cube context configured to point to your Kubernetes cluster. Docker Desktop does that by default. And let's create a namespace to use. And now, we'll run the devspace dev command to enter development mode. Now there's a Docker file in the directory, and when we go into development mode, um, the devspace builds this Docker container and launches it in the Kubernetes cluster. So now our sample code is in the container running inside our local Kubernetes cluster. Now, let's take a look and see what makes DevSpace so cool. We're going to make just one really small change to this file and save it. And as we'll see, DevSpace rebuilds our main.go file um, and then uploads the binary to the container and we'll see that our change is now running in the cluster. So you can see the power of this. We're no longer sitting around and waiting for containers to build and get deployed to clusters. Every time we make a change that we want to validate, we're getting super fast feedback. It's going to improve cycle times and honestly improve people's happiness because Let's be real, none of us want to be sitting around and waiting for things to deploy or, you know, even worse, run through a CICD pipeline and integration tests before we can see whether a change that we made worked. And another super cool thing, DevSpace is open source and it's free to use. So that's it. That's a quick intro to DevSpace. If you'd like to get more information, you can go to devspace.sh. You can run through the same quick start in some other languages or even with your own code base and get a sense of what DevSpace would look like in your real workflow. Thanks a lot for watching.